In this presentation, I'm simply going to explain how to do cross workbook data validation in Excel. Data validation is very common, and there's a number of good presentations. My favourite is from Leela Garani, which you can find on YouTube, and she focuses on data validation within a single workbook. Leela's presentation explains how to do data validation by a range or using name ranges or Excel structured tables. But I want to use data validation across workbooks. That is, I want to maintain a single source uh, list box or list of the information that is to be used in data validation which will then be used in a number of workbooks. Now this presentation is really suitable to what I would call a professional Excel user, not really your normal Excel user, but someone who's going to create something which is to be shared amongst others. So there's quite a few concepts I'm relying on. If you don't know these concepts, go find out. You have to be familiar with name ranges. You have to understand the difference between worksheet scope and workbook scope and be familiar with data validation. I'm only focusing on this here and within this presentation I'll be really emphasizing worksheet scope. So if we bring this back up it doesn't work. So this can be quite frustrating and in fact I would say I lost a week because of this bug. So hopefully you'll understand the solution and it will avoid you making the same errors I did. So we're just going to bring up data validation which is where it's trying to get the list box from. It takes a little bit of a while to open. Now it's open switch windows and it works. This of course means that data validation 2.xlsa really needs to be a macro enabled file where we open up the file. So we'll just do that just so that you know what I mean. We'll go developer, sorry, record macro. We will do that this way. Now we say file recent of data validation and we say stop recording. We go to the macro We'll just have to bring it onto the screen and we can see what's done. We don't want it. We want it to be run automatically. So workbook, open, and that's it. Now, you might want to use alternative ways to open this file so that the path isn't so dependent. We can now del delete this. And we now save this file, but we save it as a macro enabled file. We'll close it and we'll open it again and it's opened both files and now this works. Now why I'm using worksheet and workbook, I, I don't like using workbook unless I have to. So I'll just explain why. Blank workbook is sheet one. Suppose I wanted to copy sheet two, which is pretty pointless, but suppose I did. Move all copy into this book two. We've done that copy. Now let's just look at the main manager and it's copied both workbook references, but I may not have wanted to do it because there was nothing on that sheet. So it, the worksheet based references are not copied. So if you use too many workbook name ranges, you're likely to set up lots of name ranges in a workbook, which you may not need. I like to use worksheet name ranges. So we can close this, we're not interested in anymore. Back to sheet one. Now, what we know is if we go back to here, we can't just copy this as is onto another workbook. So here we see the main file which I'll be using to input the data validation. Now, I've got two lists. This one is a scope worksheet, and this one is a scope workbook. I put prefixes WKS and WKB to differentiate them. And we're going to see what happens when we try to copy this is data validation already set up. If you look, data validation, it's referring to the worksheet scope list. And this one's in data validation using the workbook scope. Now just to check the scope, formulas, main manager, WK confidence is in scope workbook, WK confidence list is of type data validation. So let's create a new workbook, go back to the original, and we're just going to copy this, these two. I want to keep it pretty, we'll copy that as well. We go view, switch windows, back to book two, paste it, and look, it all looks pretty good. That looks easy, no problem. So let's just say that. I'm going to call it data validation two, it already exists, so I'm just going to put it over it. And now we'll just close Excel entirely, and we'll bring back that workbook, data validation two. Oh look, that looks good. Let's go there. Hang on, it's not working. So if we go data, we go here, data, data validation. It says that, but it's confused because it, it doesn't exist. And then we get this message. You may not use references to other workbooks for data validation criteria. Well, you can, but you have to be clever about it. So let's go back. 
and let's do it so that we can. So open up data validation and you have to do a trick. So we go back to data validation two and we have to create a new name. We'll create a WKS confidence list and just so that it's got a different name to the original we'll call it ref and we'll make this go worksheet here is sheet one and it's referring to fortunately it doesn't recognize directly the name of the range so I'm typing it in there might be a better way to do it WKS confidence list just close it we'll work on the other in a minute and we see that works. We do the same thing here. We go formulas, name manager, new, workbook scope, name, the workbook, confidence list, ref. And it refers to this. Again, it doesn't recognize that name range. So we simply say WKB confidence list. 